turn to Mark, the 16th chapter. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James, and Salome bought spices so that they might go and anoint Jesus' body. And very early on the first day of the week, when the sun had risen, they went to the tomb. They had been saying to one another, who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? When they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had already been rolled back. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in a white robe sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. But he said to them, do not be alarmed. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Look, there is the place they laid him. But go, tell his disciples and Peter that he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him, just as he told you. So they went out and fled from the tomb, for terror and amazement had seized them, and they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Like, kind of like an administrative assistant. 
explaining why you can't have a quick word with the boss because, oh, you're looking for Jesus? Sorry, you just missed him. You've missed him because he's moved on ahead to other pressing business. The resurrected Lord is on the move. His disciples don't have time to sit around and wonder whether they believe in his resurrection. Instead, the instruction to the women is to tell the disciples, especially Peter, especially Peter who had denied him, that it was time to get moving. Jesus had already told his disciples that after he was raised up, he would go ahead of them to Galilee. Now, the young man reminds them of this. If it's Jesus they want, they will need to head back to Galilee. Now, Galilee was the site of Jesus' early ministry. It was there Jesus went when he returned from his wilderness trials. He taught, he healed, he exorcised demons and fed the multitudes in Galilee. These three women who come to Jesus' tomb at dawn were with him and cared for him when they were all in Galilee. So why is this messenger telling them to return to Galilee? Well, as I say, it was the site of Jesus' early ministry, but it's also the site of a lot of misunderstanding. His disciples could not seem to figure out what Jesus was talking about and what he was doing. Remember now, Jesus asked his followers to keep silent about him. Tell no one. Maybe, maybe Jesus didn't want people spreading news about him because they didn't yet have the big picture. His full identity had not yet been disclosed. He tried to explain about the second part of his identity, the part that takes place in Jerusalem, where he is to undergo great suffering, be rejected, and killed. Three times he tried to explain it, but each time his followers made it perfectly clear that they did not understand what he was talking about. Finally, Jesus just had to show them. So now, at an empty tomb on Easter morning, this summons to Galilee is an invitation for all of us to rethink Jesus' mission, to reevaluate the whole story in light of its ending. We have read the Gospels and heard the stories with the full knowledge of where the road to Jerusalem really led. But it's only now that the disciples are being invited to see the story that we already know. They're being sent back to where it all began, but now they know the whole story. They will finally see, really see, what Jesus had been trying to tell them all along. The tomb is empty. Jesus is not there. He's gone ahead of them to Galilee, just as he had promised. There's nothing for us and for the disciples to do, but to do as we are told and head back to Galilee, back to the site of his ministry <clears throat> among us, back out into the world where we are promised that he has gone ahead of us. Whatever Jesus is up to out there, out there in the big world, it's probably not what we might first suspect. So for now, we will celebrate our Lord's resurrection. He's kept his promises. That will have to be enough to go on as our search begins for signs of Jesus in this world. Therefore, since we are justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia, Christ has risen. Indeed, thanks be to God. We will sing 